Skeptics, what is going on? First trip of 2021. I bought my license this morning and we are out on the lake today. This is the first trip of 2021. If you are new to the channel, I think you should subscribe because I think I have an awesome channel. And uh, if you're new, you don't know that yet. So you should subscribe and watch some of the videos and I think you'll be happy with the content that's coming out on the channel. But uh, thank you to everyone that's been supporting me for a long time and in the past. I really appreciate it. 2021 would not be happening without you guys. Uh, new wrap on the boat, pretty excited about that. Got Shasta coming up at the end of the month. The uh, MLF Big Five, formerly known as FLW Toyota Series. But uh, can't wait for that, but we're out here. Just got the boat back, I had to go to the shop and uh, get a couple things done to it. Everything's good to go. And uh, it's time to go fishing. So follow along my day and uh, hopefully we catch some fish. guys first trip out with the new six cents hogwalla can't wait to get this thing wet and i'm probably going to be fishing this until i catch one so i'll probably have this in my hands for a long time today really excited about this creature bait though guys um it's kind of a blend between you know a, a brush hog and a lizard and um some people have been saying it looks a lot like the guggen squad whatever that bait's called but they like are totally different the, right here these ribbon tails are completely different than that bait so i don't i don't understand why everyone's up in arms saying that six cents copied that guggen bait i don't even know what it's called but i know what it looks like and it looks completely different than this thing the only similarities are kind of in these little arms right here and the guggen one i think is thicker and the body right here might even be longer and it's definitely totally different out there in the tails but excited to put this on the carolina rig Four aught hook looks about right on this thing. You could go five aught. Three aught's probably too small, so I definitely go four aught, five aught on this guy. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go find a rock pile here in a second and uh, cast this bad boy around and hopefully catch a good one. All right, so we got our hog wallace set up on our um, six cents unicorn, seven foot four, Daiwa Tatula SV in the 7.3 to one gear ratio, one ounce weight right here. And we also got the glass bead and the clacker along with the swivel. Long leader to the four out hook. And here is our hog walla right here. We're gonna catch them, hopefully. So like I'm fishing out right now, this place is getting drained. The water level is dropping like crazy. And uh, I don't like it out here when it's when the water's real low. I, I like this place a lot better when the water's up. I feel like it fish is better when the water's up but man every time i come out here pretty much everywhere in san diego san vicente el Cadap, both places it's just every time i go fishing the water levels just drop there's one eat it oh i got bit i got bit dang it well, the hog wall got bit. There's one. Oh! I just got bit again. Come on. Oh. I was like, well, that makes it worse, but. Dude, I just got bit again. It's so weird. Sometimes when they do that, you can just leave it in one spot. Yep, right now. There it is. There we go. There we go. First one. Oh, it's a good one. Good one. Stay on there. First one on the hog walla. There we go. There we go, it's about time. Eh, it's not as big as I thought, it looked bigger in the water. But first one on the hog walla. Cool. Cool, cool. 
All right, time to put it back. Well, we got the first fish of 2021 in the boat. First fish on the hog wallet too. Thought it was bigger when I first saw it come up in the uh, water. Thought it was like a three or a four, but saw a little two pounder, not bad. We've gotten bit like four times on this spot, but they haven't wanted to take it all the way, which is kind of funky. But sometimes what you can do when that happens is if they just kind of short bite it, they're trying to kill the bait. And if you just let that bait just sit there, which is what I did on this last on this last fish, is just let that bait sit there and then eventually the line started swimming away and I was able to swing and get him get him in the boat. Well, we definitely know the hog wallet gets bit, that's for sure. Um, got like four bites on this first spot, but they just aren't eating it all the way. It's almost like they're trying to kill the bait and it's a little bit weird, but we still got more time in the day to catch more fish. Um, I just, I don't think the Carolina rig bites like real good. I think the bite overall is probably pretty tough out here. Um, but it is what it is and we're gonna grind it out. We're gonna try to catch some more fish. And uh, I do like that hog wallow though. I like how durable, it's a really durable bait too, which I know a lot of people, um, care about and with their plastics really durable bait definitely getting bit got three four bites on that first spot only able to to pin one of them but uh we're gonna keep fishing and keep trying to figure them out That right there is frustrating. Bite's not easy. The fish are biting so funky today. They're just tapping it. And then eventually they might come back and get it, they might not. And then when they do come back and get it, they don't have the whole bait in their mouth. It's kind of frustrating because I've gotten like six or seven bites i think today and i've only landed one and this last one i should have i should have caught that fish that's that's totally on my my end of it but it's just frustrating like this hog wall is getting bit it just can't get him in the boat and it's just it's frustrating not gonna lie all right well i broke off and now i'm going to put on a different color uh, I was throwing a green pumpkin, but now I'm going to do the watermelon candy. And I just noticed it's actually like a little lamin. I don't know if it's coming through, but one side's darker than the other. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference which side you rig, but that is kind of a cool little feature. It's going to be a little bit something different. So we're going to rig it up and maybe um, changing colors up, they'll commit a little bit different, a little bit better. And maybe just stop short striking it and uh, maybe actually, you know, get that bait a little bit better. So we're going to, we're going to find out. Well guys, the first trip of 2021 was pretty rough. Um, I should have mixed things up a little bit, but I really wanted to try to catch some fish on the hog walla. Um, I got a bunch of bites on it, but they just didn't eat it all the way. Um, missed a couple that I should have caught probably. For sure should have at least caught two out here today throwing it, but I literally got like eight or 10 bites throwing that thing all day. And um, I know the fishing's tough out here, so that's part of the problem, but um, I don't know what it was. I, I thought for sure I'd be able to get a couple more bites or a couple more fish doing it. Um, once When they kept biting it, I just wanted to keep throwing it and throwing it. I should have mixed it up. I should have probably thrown a drop shot or something like that and probably could have caught a couple more fish throughout the day, but I really wanted to focus in on that hog walla. Um, I still think it's definitely going to be a good bait to, to use out here. Um, I just think that that bite's just not the best right now. I think you can catch fish doing it, obviously. It's obviously going to get bit right now, but um, I just don't think that bite in particular is as good as I was hoping it was going to be. But that's just the way it goes. Um, I know as 
the weather starts to warm up a little bit and we get more towards February and March and stuff like that, um, the fishing should start getting better out here. But um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little bit rough, not a lot of fish catches, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. And you know, I try to be authentic in my channel and stuff like that. And I'm gonna put out the bad days too. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you learned something when I, when I was talking out there um, on the video. And uh, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.